Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see how to create bad jobs and how to create purchase order using bad jobs, background jobs. I'm just going to show you in the SAP system. Before that, I'm going to create vendor, I'm going to create material, I'm going to create info record, I'm going to create source list and I'm going to create purchase requisition. After that, I'm going to create bad jobs and execute that bad job to get the purchase order from the bad job. Let's go to the system. Go to XK0. Enter company code, my company code double one double. Purchase order is double one double. Accounting group triple zero one. Vendor for batch. VN batch. Search on country I am India. Present. Enter. 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 Select reconciliation number. Select cash management group. Present. Currency INR. Now scroll down automatic purchase order. Select automatic purchase order. This is my vendor. 100 vendor. 100603 is my vendor. Now I'm going to create a material. Go to slash and mm0. Mechanical engineering raw material. Let me answer all the three. Press enter. Enter raw material ROH. Each no M one ND no M one. Before that, I have missed one small uh, the purchasing go to purchasing select then purchase. Basic data one. Automatic purchase purchasing. Automatic payment. Enter. Enter. Select valuation class. Plan delivery time one day. Two six zero seven material two six zero seven material now come back let's create info record go to ME level info record purchase info record enter plant double one double that's it thousand hundred rupees So I have created info record. Now let me create source list. ME0 source list. Vendor source of supply. Click on to generate. Execute. And save it. Save it. Now let me create a purchase requisition. ME51 year. Select source determination, enter the material, 12607, material, 2607, present, plan 1111, present, quantity 10, present, valuation price 1000, dummy price, it's a dummy price, present, automatic purchase order, 
automatically vendor is being generated here source or something scroll down vendor will be would have been generated see here vendor would have been generated from the source list it has come from the source list source list refers info record now enter double one double storage information and save it PR. One double zero one six two zero three. Now I'm going to create batch batch jobs. What do you mean by batch jobs? It will be executing executing the program executing the SAP ABAP program. Okay, so that from purchase requisition it being converted to purchase order. Where it gets converted? ME 59N. From here it gets con converted. Now, let me delete this. Let me delete this also. And click on to save button. Save. Let me have this purchase organization alone. Let me scroll down. There's no other selections are here. Enter purchase organization alone and save this. Click on to this save button. I'm going to save the variance. Okay. Variant name batch jobs. Batch job. Batch job. Save. So variant name is batch job. Variant name. Name batch job. Now I'm going to create. So now before that. Go to system status. I'm going to take this ABAP program. System status. See here. This is the ABAP program. program. ABAP program. Let me take this program. ABAP program. ABAP program. Okay. Go to slash in SM36. SM36. I want to create a ABAP program. Okay. Job name. Z job. Z job. Go to give bad job. Z bad job. Let me insert. enter Z bad job. Z bad job. Z bad job. Okay, now press enter. Okay, now enter the name of the program. This is the name of the program. Name of the program. Okay. What is the variant name? Bad job. Bad job is my variant name. Select on to bad job. See here, bad job. Test come. Bad job. Okay, check. Click on to check. No errors. Same. Now bad job has been saved. See here parameters bad job. ABAP program. Program name RM06BB36. Now come back. And save this. And moreover, go to steps. Start condition. Go to start condition. Immediate. I'm going to execute an immediate. So the bad job, it can be immediate or through date and time. Every day it can be. It could be every day. You can do it every day. Periodic. Okay. See here, periodic job. Every day. When you give this time, periodic. When you select periodic job, every day, this time, it will execute. So I'm going to give, this time, I'm going to give immediate. Because I'm going to show this immediately. Immediate of purchase requisition to the purchase order. Conversion of purchase requisition to the purchase order. Immediate. Check and save. Now save this. Scroll down. Let me save this. See here, batch job status saved. The status released. It's been released. So immediately it gets executed. Now let's go to let's and let's check it. Go to SM37. 
SM37. What is the job name? Z bad job. It's my job. Enter it. SM37. Execute. Let's execute this. See it finished. It's been finished. Now select onto this job log. Click onto job log. See here, purchase order has been created. Purchase order has been created. This is my purchase order. 45000 PO. 45000175 Okay. Now let's go to ME23N and check. Go to slash n me 23n and check purchase order other purchase order enter this my purchase order this has been created now see here purchase requisition this is the purchase requisition see here now my purchase requisition is see here this is my purchase requisition Matches. So this purchase order has been created. Now let's me let me do goods received and invoice application. Go to slash and mig. Enter the purchase order number here. Item OK and post. Item OK and post. Now material document has been posted. See here, this is the material document. Now let's do inverse Go to slash and MIR. Enter date. Enter tax code G1. G1 is my enter. G0. Let me select G0 also. For training purpose, let me select G0. Press enter. Calculate tax, baseline date, basic data, go to basic data, enter the amount, and let me save it, 11,000, 11,000, and save it. That's it. This is how we do bad jobs. Thank you.